Wow, well, it's really cool to have someone like Richard here today because, you know, it's like forensics on the engine. So that's going to be fun with the Maniacs. So, hey, welcome everybody. We're Maniacs Garage. We have Richard as a guest builder here today. We're going to be digging into the engine, hopefully, right after uh, Jim gets done cleaning it. And uh, I think it's going to be a fun episode. So stay around or something like that. We knew this was running great. This this saves you a lot of time trying to get it timed right at the okay. end. Okay. You've got an engine running. So let's find out where they set up this distributor. You're gonna put it back where you found it, basically. Firing order. Seven, Oh, eight six seven five three zero nine. But the good thing, tell you what, right off the bat, you were driving this thing. You drove it here, and it's dry. The threads are dry. It's rich, and that's okay. You'll never lean it out and burn it up. But it, uh, black is rich, uh, but dry is good. That means we don't have a lot of oil up here on top. Well, full, full disclosure. Full disclosure. He drove it off the trailer and moved it around the yard. Okay. Well, well hey, okay. it ran for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, it okay. ran in another yard <laughs> okay. onto was, a trailer. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then off, off the, the trailer. trailer. So yeah, I mean, had, had, um, had minutes as we're I, actually, and this is good CSI. Would try again. That's not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm liking this so far. Two out of two so you, far, looking good. As soon as you pull one, that's that's. Uh, Literally wet with oil. Mm, bad yeah, deal. No, not good. good. Yeah, that's dry. Yeah, there we go. The suspense <laughs> yeah. is killing us. So three out of three oh, good so far. Good. Pulling plugs right now. Good. First thing on the on the agenda. That, that's a funny one. See that one's a little bit blacker, but it's nothing to worry about. I just know the center electrode's mm -hmm. blacker, which uh, yeah, by runner. Four. It's kind of one of those weird things. Some each runner run that is a little different. But it's good. Ha, ah, so much nicer back inside here. Breeze going through. Just start. Yeah, we're only at 82 degrees. Supposed to be a balmy 104 today. Yeah, it did hit it 106 was, in here yesterday. <laughs> it was hot yesterday. <laughs> I went home from work and went in the pool. So what's the plan next? So you guys got oh, the, you guys got four plugs coming. out. Yeah. They look good so far. Whoa. So now pulling valve cover off, but there's a oh, yeah, vacuum this line is for, in the uh, way. It takes a little bit of heat. For, uh, for warming up the engine, mm. yeah, to get it warmed it's up. It's like a mechanical. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, we can uh, just do that. We can pull, pop that valve cover. Flathead. Oh, they use silicone. Oh, oh not right. that. All right. What do we got? What do we okay. got? Okay. Well, no sludge. It's uh, not as bad it's as I off. anticipated. It's got a bunch of scrape yeah. marks in it. Somebody yeah, cleaned it up already. They put gaskets on at one time probably was leaking they always do yeah and I'm I'm liking it um, it's not as bad as it could be could have been considering I'm just seeing if anything is loose just for the heck of it that one's down and that is exhaust that do we remember what mileage was on this 99,000 99,000 what we believe is on the motor anyway yeah right I mean that one looks either 99 or 199 299. That's a good, probably 399. That one's completely gone. The base of it, of the seal, where it crimps to the casting on the head is there, but the rest of the umbrella boot is over time has become little pieces. The pan's gonna have a flake, a little chunks of crispy mm -hmm. guide seals. Are we are we sideways with the motor on purpose? Is that a technique? For, you know, right. we for, can turn it back up for, now. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of access, but we'll we dumped yeah. all the water off the yeah. tank. That's great. That's great. Ten percent off this weekend. Oh, yes. it won't be by the time uh. they watch it, though. <laughs> hey, ten percent off last weekend. Boxo Memorial Day sale. <laughs> Small little pry bar. Ooh, yeah. smooth, dude. Mm, all right, so the guy before us cleaned this up or something. Yeah, yeah. it's been recent. Yeah, you can see that's some super recent, marks. right? You can see yeah. some scratch marks in there from when mm -hmm. they cleaned it. So what's this little clarinet over here? Oh, rocker arm shaft. Yeah, old school. They got away from that over the is this years. Called a, is this, this called a push, push rod engine? Yep, it's a yeah overhead valve push rod, and uh, I'm loving the way those. Does are it rolling. have VTEC? 
<laughs> no, no, it has no, not even Z Tech. No <laughs> yeah, there it is. This is low tech. Hey, hey uh, twin scroll turbo. Yeah, twin <laughs> scroll right there. Ooh, twin that, scroll dude? turbo. Oh, those horns were loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. So these springs yeah. will hold it, hold the valve, uh, uh, the rocker arm yeah, up so against the, ride. the bushing. So yeah, so it doesn't float. So we're we're dealing with hydraulic lifters. We don't have any adjustment. Hydraulic up lifters here. in '62. Yeah, this is an advanced so, technology right here. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to run this through and check all the valve train for yep. looseness on all the cylinders. Okay. Number one is perfect. All right, we're going to go to time lapse here because uh, we're having too much fun. <laughs> Talk to us, no, doctor. That is not bad for never being open, Six in my years. humble opinion. Not Three. bad. Not bad at all. What do we got here? Ooh, that's a chain right there. Yeah, old school. Timing old chain. Cardboard. I'm just wiggling uh, to see just where wiggle I wiggle it. Yeah, just we'll have uh, end play clearance. See what that's that's not really nice. See that? Yeah. I'm floating the crank forwards and backwards. And that's your thrust. I bet that's like five or six thousandths. Yeah. That's that's unreal. I've seen more uh, Ford cranks go back and forth and destroy torque converters, destroy mm -hmm. transmissions, puke oil off both ends when the when the thrust is out of whack. Um, that's very important. Um, let's let's make sure rocker arm shaft orientation is correct and to the right head, front back, driver side, passenger side. Uh, and, and push rods to lifters. A lot of people say that doesn't matter. I'm a purist. Why? If you so take this it is, apart, this like is when you're taking it apart, so you can put it back together the same we way. Want, we want all these because because sometimes you can have a push rod that has a little flat spot in the bottom, and it's and it's matches uh, up good. matches up to that lifter only, and you put it somewhere else, and it could be cause you okay. trouble. All right. So how are we noting that? Um, car like a, a sheet of cardboard, okay. cardboard box, and then we just kind of. Uh, lay everything out. Everybody can't fight this way. All right, we'll lift and go your way. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you're even okay. left of it, it's all rusted off. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that. you're getting rid of this intake. Is that just corroded right now? I was gonna go walk it outside. Are you good? Yep. Okay. Can you handle it? Oh, oh my. It's a good workout? Oh. Fill the arm pump. Look at that. Holy cow. That's good. Let's yeah. go see what forensics they got yeah. inside. His name is Claw. Right here. Oh. Oh, that's your crossover port, right? It's not crossing over. Or, yeah. <laughs> not crossing over wow, there. Wow, that's a lot of gunk. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's the coolant, gunk, right? Gunk, that's gunk a coolant. That's a coolant port, yeah. yeah junk in the gunk. Cooling yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Here again. Yep. Um, this one this is not is... crossing over to this one. <laughs> if we follow that path on the on the intake manifold on the bottom, it's it's what it's like a heat riser, and so it helps that carburetor warm up quicker mm -hmm. in a cold environment. But yeah, it's completely. Uh, I've never seen one completely plugged Chisel. in. Chisel. Scalpel. That's, that's some crazy. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There you go. Wait, one more over there. It's another one of those things that hot riders just throw away. It's an eBay item. Okay. Um, All right. Shoot, yeah. I got eBay items. These things are weird. No purists I mean, follow us. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, and I, if they did, they don't anymore. What's crazy is these intake valves are all at the same height. None of them are buried into the seats. That's uh, a good thing? Very good thing. Nothing worse than pulling up, and I see them on a million Fords. You get one of these intake valves, and it's about an eighth of an inch out that way because the seat's pounded out, and you wonder why the compression was only 60 pounds. So cool. So the head is off on one side, intake's obviously off. Going full the head on the other side. Kind of what's the plan next after that? We're going to look at the cylinders. We're going to crank this engine over and look carefully at it. We're going to wipe, wipe them down and look for score marks and how deep the ridge is at the top. 
uh, tape, you know, that tells us about normal tapeware through its life. Um, any any kind of uh, signs of maybe broken piston rings or whatever, but I bet we won't find nothing because it's the, so far this thing's been awesome. The cylinders are probably going to. Head up like a oh, All right, here goes. Comes the head's coming off. Pandora's box, Ooh. right? What do we got? Okay, we got four pistons. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we we got the pistons. That's good. We can good. say where somebody with a screwdriver was yeah, following. Scratched them all off. Yeah, that's okay. We'll buff them <laughs> like it never happened. Yeah. yeah. Look at yeah. this though, right yeah. here. This is a hot area. Is this water, water passage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just head head gasket right here. Garbage. Yep. Yeah. And the head gasket's not blown. Hey, you're bending it, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we gotta reuse that. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, One time use. Yeah. Do, do these valves look as good as the Man, driver? this thing, it's, yeah. It's a toy, huh? It is nice very toy. nice, very nice. Dude, these, we'll just take them apart, clean everything up, and just flap the seats a little bit. So when you say we, you're I'll, I'll be here. Okay. Okay. All right, because I mean, all right. I'll, yeah. well, He's I'm, hooked. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd like. We got him. We got him. All right. All sure right. Yeah. 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 Let me see the biceps. So let's let's flip no, really. it over right. and pull that out. Maybe? Yes. Oh. Yeah, you know, How's it feel? Right. How's it feel, Richard? The ridge. I think it'd be good to flip thing, this over. Yeah. Too, we'll it'll dump we'll definitely. Um, this thing's so nice. It doesn't hardly have a ridge at all. It's Sweet. definitely a hundred thousand mile engine like, but it's been it's kind. They've been kind. It's been a kind hundred thousand yeah, miles. They put. A, they did a lot of oil changes to it. Has it ever probably been run fast? I mean, there's. It's, it's really in good shape. It's a family car. Uh, Personally, I do believe that's part of it. It is a family car. This wasn't a. This wasn't a hot rod. This will be good because what are we finding here? That's that. What you did was you just clean oh. this this garbage off. I just made us some soft nice. toes. <laughs> See this this area here mm. had carbon on it. And that that was in there. That's what's making it tighten the bore. Let's take a look at the bottom too, just for the heck of it, because everything. Oh, it's beautiful. We got all kinds of people here today. Hey, what's up, boys? Tell me the. All right, man. What's the, what, what's the next deal here? I'm gonna pop the. Uh, Main main pulley off the front, hopefully easily, but we'll see. Is Boy, it's coming really right easy? off. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we got something in there. Nice. Oh, it's just my space. Oh, okay. Sweet. Feel too bad in here for driving home. Like all the trees are going all over the place. You're gonna elbow me in the face. Awesome. 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 It is all steel. Wow. Wow. It's got wear. The camshaft is literally retarded. That is is retarded camshaft. But it's all new and new timing chain. It brings your cam back into the right to play with the with the crank. That is horsepower. This right here is horsepower. All That's your valves are open and late. Yeah. It has to pull a loose chain over loose gears. The crank goes, I'm already here. And the valve's like, I haven't moved yet. I haven't. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. That's, That's dirty. Oh, look at that. Mm. Delicious. That's, That's dirty. Yeah. The timing yeah. chain cover is off. A little sloppy, a little sloppy, but original, right? And it's still yeah. good, so. So the upper part of the rear main seal is stuck in the uh, bearing journal there. And we can't get it out, so that means the crankshaft's gotta come out. It's a rope type seal from a million years ago. <laughs> yes, it is in the bluff, definitely not sliding out. John, I think that rope seal's even older than you. Hey man, that's crazy. So we were not planning on pulling the crank which means that full on the pistons, which means more money, more time, yeah. more better. But it'll be clean. Exactly. It it'll actually be, be nice. good and clean that way. All right, so we're actually working on uh, starting to pull the crank. 
And what Richard was showing us right here is that this is already marked in the part one and one. So as it comes apart, you can keep track of that. It's also match up to that piston as well. The orientation. So yep. that's that's the plan, and then they all come out and they get uh, categorized in a cardboard yep. box. Yeah, we go and then back we gotta keep on going. Direction. So gotta go back up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there it is, there, there it is. Goes. Okay, now I can hold it centered. Okay, I'll hold it centered. There you go. Shell that goes in there. And we'll clean all that later. I want to put this back just like we found it, one to one. Since yes. you have rubber gloves, can yeah, you find was a... that in the center? All the way from hey, Iowa. Tell your dad we say hi. Okay. And we miss him. Okay. Uh, so, all right. Hey, this right. Was, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah we do miss you too. Yeah, I felt the love. Thanks for stopping by and for getting us food. Of Very nice. On Jim's credit card. <laughs> all right, Lord, we thank you for getting us thus far in this engine. We thank you for not uncovering any major problems, Lord, and uh, we just praise your name for it. We praise your name for this food we're about to eat. Ask you to keep us healthy and strong. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Right. Last one. Last one. Awesome. Almost the second ring. Okay, man, we're out. Last one. Okay. I see. Oh, yeah. Sure, we just don't want to lift this crank out. There you go. So much nicer. It is lifting it. Yeah, that's I want to make sure that somebody's yeah. watching it to make oh, sure they yeah, don't move. I'll just watch. Yeah. Yep. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Nice. We left all they the bearings on the block. Stayed. Nice. Ta -da. Perfect. And that's the crank, boys and girls. And that's the cam. Yeah. The motor's upside down, yeah. so don't. Uh, yes. Don't forget that. All right. So the cam is giving us a bit of a hard time coming out, but. It's working, so the technique is to go. Oh, we, got, we got it. All right, so what we missed from the camera earlier is that we had to go back and crank on it again and then tap back a little bit, crank again, tap back. And it finally came out, so. Oh, every time we're going to have a problem. They're, they're snug. Those are some hey. Oh. <laughs> every time. Oh. Yeah. Line it up. And I think that's better than a brand new cam on a ship. <laughs> I'm starting to get the feel that you might be a Ford guy. I, I did go to the dark side many years ago. <laughs> I got tired of Chevy's. Definitely not the highest quality on their cam casting. Wow, that's funny. Didn't even machine all the... Where's that right here? Had some pits in the... Right, yeah, sent it anyways. Yeah. Now these, it. these are hardened, super hard. Oh yeah, right yeah. there too. Well, it's yeah, like whistling diesel on his videos. He keeps dropping them and they break. I'm like, well, yeah, they're going to break. They're hardened to ridiculous numbers. So the whole reason we have to go this far to pull the crank, pistons have to come out, was for this rear main seal yeah, on the seal. motor. Rope seal. The rope seal would come out. So in order to replace that, we have to go this far. Yeah. Which at the end of the day, it's probably a better thing anyway. Yeah, that's installed by hand. The guy that did that's most likely way dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, let's wrap this baby up. How about that? Yeah. Let's do it. Intro. Thanks guys for following along. Hope you enjoyed watching us tear down an engine today. An old Ford engine. And uh, come back, check us out next time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give us that notification bell so you know when uh, the next time we release it. A video. Wow. A video. A video. That you'll 
be aware and you can watch it. <laughs> All, right, All right, Richard, thank you. Boys, thank you. Thank you. you guys, we'll see you in the next one.